Hello, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to explain the range lookup. The range lookup is basically used where we have to search a number in our range. So for example, if I have to search something like uh, 0 to 40 percent, this is my range. This is my range. And if anyone who is in between 0 percent and 39 percent, should be fail and if he is on 40% and between 40% to 59% he should be getting the grade C and so on. So one way is to do is uh, write uh, long if and and formulas and do uh, with that. It can be achieved but uh, considering the real world issues but where there could be longer ranges. Uh, uh, on those occasions you need to use uh, uh, compact and easy to update the formulas and uh, 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 better way is to use the VLOOKUP range uh, lookup. So uh, here is how we can use it. I'll show you two examples, one with XLOOKUP and one with VLOOKUP. The, the issue with VLOOKUP is the table has to be sorted in smallest to the lookup value, the range lookup value has to be sorted in uh, smallest to largest number. So if it is not sorted in this way, the VLOOKUP result will be uh, uh, incorrect. So keep in consideration that whenever you are doing an approximate match, the table, the lookup table has to be sorted in uh, A to Z or smallest to largest uh, value. So here we input the formula VLOOKUP and then this is our lookup array range and the two when the column grade we want to bring in and then here comes the approximate match as you can already read true means approximate match false means exact match so uh, so we'll use true and close the parentheses and press enter as you can see there is no 97% but the vlookup formula has brought us the correct grade for this uh, student similarly for 38% it has brought us fail because it is in between 0 and 39% basically it is less than 40% so if I just change it to 40%, sorry, <laughs> if I just change it to 40%, it brings me this grade C. So uh, this is how it works. You just have to sort your table in alphabetical order because if you do not do that, it will break up. So for example, if I just input here, let me show you here. I am inputting just 65%. As you can see, it is correctly bringing me the grade B because it is between 60 and 80. But if I just change the uh, sequence, I just input in here 70. So it is giving me fail for 65%, which is incorrect. It should give me B. But as the sequence is changed, it is broken. So you have to be very careful. I am just repeating over and over again, but it is very important to keep in consideration. But if you are using Office 365 and uh, you have XLOOKUP, XLOOKUP can work without uh, the table being sorted in uh, A to Z order. So if I just insert XLOOKUP, this is my lookup array. And this is my return array. And this is my match. I want it to bring me match a next smaller item. I can do a, uh, uh, exact match our next larger item, but, uh, but it will give me an uh, error uh, for the 90% items because there is no uh, item that is uh, showing me 100. Uh, so it will give me an error, but I'll keep it with uh, exact match and next smaller so for it we use minus one and just do it like this oh sorry uh, perhaps yeah i have to fix the range just a second 
here we go so as you can see the result is exactly the same as in uh, with the VLOOKUP and the VLOOKUP is sorted in A to Z order and this one is entirely uh, the other way around. You can change whatever uh, uh, way you want. For example, if I just input here 80% and change, uh, the formula doesn't uh, break. It keeps working. So if I just even if I just add something in here, let me check if my yeah if I just add something in here. For example, if I say 30% is fail and 0% is disaster. So let's keep 0%. Uh, let's keep 0% uh, disaster and 30% fail so as you can see 0% 30% 40% it's a mix but the formula is still bringing me the correct result 18% means less than 30% it means a disaster anyone 30% and 40% is fail anyone 40% is C so this is how you can use both the range lookups. If you have X lookup, you don't it's simple. There is no big difference. If you have X lookup, you can uh, use it uh, without sorting your data. And if you are, uh, if you don't have X lookup, you have to use your lookup table in a sorted way. In alphabetical order, uh, sorting must be done before you could use the range lookup. Let me know if you have any questions and thank you so much for being part of my journey and if you uh, consider subscribing, I'll be very thankful to you. Thank you.